Bringing 262 Heavy, wind calm, runway 31 left, clear for takeoff, caution weight turbulence, previous departure Heavy uh, 777. Welcome aboard and welcome to Frankfurt, Germany. We are here in our Donier Dio 335 word. The word means arrow, but I don't know how to say the word. So that we're going to call it the arrow. <laughs> uh, virtual cockpit. Now this, this download, the link is down below as usual. Uh, this cockpit comes with or this cockpit. This plane comes with three versions. One has a 2D only cockpit, one has a non-working VC cockpit, and this one has a working VC cockpit. Just make sure you choose the right one. Just so you know. Alright, let's look at our Donier. Now this was interesting. Um, <laughs> it was developed as well, it ended up being a heavy fighter. It's a very big aircraft as you can see here. It is it is a large airframe. Uh, it was submitted in May of 1942 as a bomber that could carry 1,000 kilograms of bombs and 200 pounds. In autumn of 1942, Dornier was told to make it into a multi-role fighter. So then there was the, the, the delay to turn this thing into a fighter plane. First flight was 26 October 1943. If you go and look at Dornier flying boats, you will find that this pusher puller configuration was pretty popular on the Dornier flying boats. It was something that that the the head of Dornier really believed in. So it, it's no surprise that this configuration is what came of it. Now, pilots reported being surprised at the speed, acceleration, and handling of this aircraft because it's a twin engine that had all the performance of a single engine. Alright, let's get it back inside. Let's get back from our gauges there a little bit. Wow, very interesting simple cockpit. Words. Alright. Do we have any flaps? wouldn't expect to have much, but I do have some. Which would probably make sense coming from its life, its original incarnation as a uh, bomber. That's Max Flap right there. <laughs> we have plenty of runway because we're here at Munich. Alright, are we ready for this? Here we go. Awesome looking aircraft. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! Gotta be careful about tail strike on that one. <laughs> Alright. Well, she does not like that. <laughs> not nearly as much as I thought she would. Alright. Now this was described as general by General Field Marshal Milch as holding its own in speed and altitude with the P-38 Lightning, which would make sense to some degree. It, it was a twin-engine aircraft, which the P-38 was as well, um, and it would be able to get pretty high up there in altitude. Now let's get those flaps in. I don't break them. Imagine bailing. Oops, imagine bailing out of this aircraft. Uh, you got a prop behind you. That <laughs> sort of means mincemeat, right? Well, to solve that problem, they put explosive charges in the back of the aircraft that would blow off the tail fin and rear propeller assembly. Just blow it all off, and then you bail out of your aircraft. Very, very nice thinking, very German thinking, really. Uh, there were some problems with this aircraft. The largest being the engines. Getting engines that behaved themselves was a problem. Also, the landing gear doors caused performance issues as well. They were actually not even included on the initial aircraft that was used as part of the flight testing. 
does look like a very interesting aircraft, though, doesn't it? I mean, it just... You know, it's normal-ish. Not so normal anymore. <laughs> what are the power plants? Well, they are two Daimler-Benz DB603A 12-cylinder inverted engines producing 1,726 horsepower each. She was capable of top speed of 474 miles per hour. She had 30 millimeter MK103 cannons. Oh, it's not an airplane. Air, 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 airplane? Air base. Air thingy. We're going to land over there. Um, and two 20 millimeter MG15 slash 20 cowl mounted, that would be these guys up here, uh, synchro cannons. They were designed to synchro through the, the front prop there. It is a very big aircraft, um, <laughs> obviously. You know what, I actually don't feel like going all the way out to that runway. Uh, well, we're in a 474 horse, uh, 474 mile per hour aircraft. We can do a little out and back, right guys? All right, let's see here. Shift one. Do diddly. Two. Hey, look, a panel. <laughs> Three. Ooh, another panel of things. Four. Bombs. Ah, she could still carry bombs, by the way. She could still carry her thousand kilograms of bombs, even in her fighter role. Um, okay. Five. Oh, calm. That's it. So one is the main panel, but nothing up here. Okay. Woo. That's interesting. I am not doing this, by the way. She's doing that all on her own. She's 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 having a fit. All right, let's turn. What was that airport that we were goofing around with? Oh, there it is, right there. All right. Okay, I have a bad feeling about this because, uh, whoa, she, <laughs> she's very quick. I will give her that much. All right, let's slow way down. There's a flaps. Did I hit the gear button? Yes, I did. There she is. I will put that. Oh, yeah, we're way high for this. Good thing we have a nice long runway, right? Alright, engine is cut. Alright, we got max flat. I just don't want max flaps right now. I just want to get this crazy bird down. There we go ish. I'm worried about tail strikes. Alright, I think we're down. Yeah! Look at that. Now I just have to get her to stop. Stop! <laughs> Please? Please stop. Ah, there we go. And... Come on! Stop. There we go. Alright, let's shut her down. Because it's too dangerous to me for me to fly these things. Let's hit open up the cockpit. Ah. Huh. All right. Cool. So this is the Dornier Do three three five word that means arrow. <laughs> um. Interesting. I mean, this very interesting looking aircraft. Very big for a fighter, but when you think about it, we had the P-61 Black Widow, which was a giant twin-engine fighter bomber. Um, and we had the P-38, which was no lightweight itself. So it, there, there is precedent there for that. Uh, this aircraft didn't see much in the way of actual fighting. In fact, there's only one left in the world. Uh, it is in Washington, D.C. at the National Air and Space Museum. Uh, one of these days I hope to get there to actually take a picture of it um, and look at it. But 
There we go, the DO-335 Aero. The link is down below. Again, you get three aircraft, one with a 2D cockpit, one with a non-working VC, and then this one, which has a virtual cockpit. Uh, it's, a, it's a neat little aircraft if you like your World War II unique aircraft. I would put this in the unique category, actually. Uh, so, until next time, this has been Derek Tubbers, hanging out in Germany, flying the Dornier. Till next time, bye.